Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. With me in the box for this match will be Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gas. Hi, Hutto. I'm ready for a big game here tonight. Tonight, it's Port Adelaide at home against the Hawks. They run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off, the banners are looking great. It's a big midfield battle today, the team can get on top in the middle of the ground, will walk out winners today. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Good call, Hutto. It's a true the captains make their way to the center circle for the coin toss. Port Adelaide wins the toss. Both these teams coming off losses. Well, we all know who should get the job done, but it's shaping as a very interesting matchup. Can't wait for this one to begin, and I think the crowd would agree too. They are on the edge of their seats. And away we go with the opening bounce. Punched away. A chance for Dixon. Slips the tackle. Chose to kick it. A mark by Hartlett. Searches for a teammate downfield. Takes a nice mark. But looks to build some momentum with this kick. 40 metres from home. Going for goal number one. A drop part through the goals. But loves that goal. Port Adelaide get the opening goal. About to resume hostilities. McAvoy won the hit out. Controlled well off the bounce. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Wines throws the ball away. Houston gathers it now, dishes it off. He gains possession. Dixon flipping the track down the footy. Gets a quick kick away. Patton with the intercept. Bruce hoping to level the scores right here. Cleverly suffers it off the ground for a goal. That's the first goal of the day for Gunston. Smiles all round. The Hawks sink their first. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Umpire ready to resume play. McAvoy won the duel. Did well to control the ball. Just put it on the boot. Can't take possession. Ball up in the centre square. Thumps it clear. He gets his hands on the footy. Takes the mark. Puts it on the boot. Rushes with the kick. A great mark taken there. Hartley elects to kick. Scully puts on a big hit. Elects to kick. The ball mopped up. Westhoff unable to lay the tackle. Handball's out into space. The handball hits the target. Boat wins it back. Keeps it moving. Finds his man. Sutcliffe collects it. Hits him hard. Dug out the loose ball. Gives it, don't argue. Sicily just goes bang. Watts resents and takes the mark. The distance might be just beyond him. An ideal position to be kicking from. Going for goal number one. 
Boy, I'd like to happy about that one. Watts enjoying that goal. Port Adelaide by a goal. Wins the ruck duel. He's got the football now. Receives the handball and takes off. The umpire calls for it. What can you tell us, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. Great match. Picked off the deck. Sweeping handball from Houston. Ball picked up. Burgoyne pushes his opponent off with one hand. Pushes through with power. A strong mark in the pack from O'Brien. Decides to kick. Scoops it up. Gets it away. Warple just streaming past and gets the footy. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Burton just threw it. Move it on. This kick to square it up. A good result there, and that's a goal for Warple. Warple kicks his first. He acknowledges the crowd. Tight contest here. Scores locked up. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Back in the middle now. McAvoy thrashes it. Well collected on the bounce. Taken by Burgoyne. Wingard contests the hard ball. Applying the physical pressure. Picked off by Mitchell. Punches the kick. Piofalo marks in a bit of space. He doesn't want to let his teammates down with this shot at goal. Spills the mark. Gunston rushes with the kick. A chance to soccer it and kicks the goal. It's his first. Look at them celebrate that effort. That's two in a row for Hawthorne. The Hawks lead it by a goal. We're back in motion. McAvoy got the tap. Gone in the tackle. Lays the tackle. Brilliant chase. Wines has resources out wide. Finding the loose ball was Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe earns a free kick. A spearing kick. The mark is taken by Rosie. Sinks the slipper into it. Great mark in the pack. Williams right on the edge of his range. A goal will see the scores all level. That's a monster kick, and it's a goal. He puts through his first goal. They get around him after that effort. All locked up on the scoreboard. Back in the middle, has the rucks go at it. McAvoy won the tap. Showing control was Wingard. Uses the bump. Burgoyne dug it out. Segler brushed off easily. That's holding the ball. Saw what was coming. Showing some really good pressure there. Winning the ball in the air was Fiopolo. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Ready to bring it back into play. Hartler decides to go to himself. He drives it. Terrific mark there. Mays drives a low kick. Shields takes it strongly. Puts boot to ball. The ball ends up with Gunston. This will certainly test him from this distance. He might kick a goal. now two. Unsure of their next move. Plays on. Got boot to ball. Takes that one strongly. One quarter down and three to go. Plenty of football still to be played. The scores are Hawthorne 20. The power 18. Hawthorne should be happy with their lead, Hutto. They came out focused and committed to a very good game plan. Well, we're out of the blocks with a frantic high-scoring opening term. I wonder what lies ahead.
Let's analyse the stats. Port Adelaide needs to make the most of their chances inside 50. They aren't getting too many of them at the moment, so they need to capitalise when given the chance. Thanks. The second term ready to get underway. We resume hostilities. Punches are clear. Gathered by Wines. Fantastic pressure there. Patton goes for it now. He delivers with a drop pass. That's his first. He's excited about that one. Hawthorne by eight points. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Hawthorne are forcing the opposition to give it to the open player. They aren't allowing them any room to move forward. Goes off the ground. Bruce collects the loose ball. Takes the chance and says thank you very much with that goal. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Celebrating hard. Hawthorne are winning the ball out of the clearance and are capitalising. It's much easier to score when you're always on the front foot. Wants to keep it moving. Got the hands free. Wines steals possession. Got the hands free. Takes possession. Hartley takes a strong ball. Uses it by foot. Marks that ball uncontested. Just gets a hand in. Well collected. Frost kicks hurriedly. Bruce dug out the loose ball. He flicks it over. Hits the target by hand. The kick ends up hitting the post. Hawthorne by 15 points. Hartlick searching for a teammate. The ball finds Al Pepper. Goes with the kick. Into the line of fire. Constant pressure and rewarded. It looked impossible, but he made it work. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. They stretch their lead with that effort. Get some reward for his efforts. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Hawthorne are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. O'Meara handballs out into space. Good mark by Jonas. With a driving kick. Now we've got a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. We'll get a stoppage. Segler with the punch. Mays control the difficult ball. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Puts it into space. Hartlett just gets it onto the boot. Dragged down by Watts. Great tackling technique. Just gets it onto the boot. Getting in the way was Vogue. Collects the loose ball. Going for goal number one. To go through from behind. Unable to take that opportunity. Port Adelaide behind by 20. Searching for a teammate. Plays onto himself. Stratton clears the danger for now. Hawthorne have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest.
clean pickup by Powell. Impey just bangs away at goal. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. His teammates rush over. Hawthorne lead by 26. Hawthorne can make the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Ball up in the centre square. Thrashes it. Slams it on the boot. Taken well at ground level by Scully. Goes by hand to Shields. O'Brien couldn't keep his hands on it. The loose ball picked up. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. He loved that one. Hawthorne have five unanswered goals. Now they lead by 32. Hawthorne can take advantage of their Ruckman's ability. It gives them first use at the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Great tackle. Hartley leaps over the top. It's cut off by Rockcliffe. Turned it over. Gunston read it best. Wingard going for number one. Thirty-three points the difference. Hawthorne could cost themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Does well to cut off the field. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Houston hacking it out of there. West off hurry kick. The ball spills to Sicily. It's a turnover. Sicily gets right in his face. Great tackle there, Hutto. Didn't get low enough with the tackle. Can he put it through? No issues with that drop punt. They're not done with yet. He's enjoying that goal. Margin in a really tricky situation. He did really well there and gets the reward. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Hawthorne could turn the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Gunston gets in the way. Rockcliffe getting in on the act. Found space for an easy bar. They are happy with that effort. He celebrates hard after that. They're finding a way back into this. Centre bounce. Hawthorne are getting first use from their ruckman. Giving it off with Ebert. He gives chase to the footy. Kicks in heavy traffic. Power was surrounded. He needed to mark it. And he did. Easily takes the mark. McAvoy uses it by foot. Finds the loose ball. Ball up on the outer side wing. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gas? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Great attack on the ball carrier. Just gets a boot to it. Gunston needs a chance to rest. Frost got hands to it. O'Meara pushes through. Moves it by foot. You've seen a half now, Gaz. Your thoughts? Hawthorne have had a solid first half and will look to show more of the same in the second. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. Hawthorne have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. We're set to go at the start of the third quarter. Back in the middle now. McAvoy hurls it away. Mitchell quickly out of the boot. Hartley will be upset with that. And the umpire will ball it up. Swatson has it now. Piopolo won himself a free. Looks up with the kick. Intercepts the ball well. Cuts the kick in board. Picked up by Burgoyne. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. 
collected by Rockcliffe, going for goal number one. Seized the opportunity and was able to take it. Congratulated by his teammates. Port Adelaide have kicked the last three goals. Can they capitalise on the momentum? Picks up the loose ball. Houston has the ball. Good mark and looks to send it back. Moves the ball by foot. Stratton runs after the ball. It always looked close, but hits the post. Port Adelaide reduced the margin. Looking for options now. Frost found a way to mark that one. Hawthorne have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Ends up turning this ball over. Now with a low spearing kick, and the mark will be paid. Sutcliffe with the opportunity in front of goal. 60 metres out. The loose ball scooped up. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. Keep it on. He slams it towards goal. Unbelievable effort, and it ends with a goal. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. Port Adelaide have kicked the last four goals. Just two goals in it. That's a really good team goal. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Back with another set of bounce. Segler got a fist to it. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. The game has tightened right up. Clears the contest. Dixon slams it onto the boot. Hartley dishes it off. Just gave it away. Hardwick crosses off the tackle. Quickly onto the boot. Contests the hard ball. And now we'll have a ball up. Hammers it. He wins possession. Pushes off the tackler. Segler links up with a chance to run. Shields now heading off to the bench for a break. Ball up in the centre square. Hawthorne have been extremely well organised at the stoppages and it sees them being able to win the ball from the points. Boat moves it now. The contest, no match for him. Of course, Hunter. Looks to move it by foot. Hardwick not getting much of it, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. It's off. Port Adelaide now only trail by seven. Stratton plays on. Clearing kick out of the defensive 50. Bruce goes with the kick. Stands tall and marks. Goes by foot. He takes the mark. Uses it now. Warple wins the ball in the air. Got boot to ball. Jonas wins the foot race. He just can't get out of the action. Used the hands and gives away the free. Wingard gets the loose ball. Slams it onto the boot. Great control there. Just got the hands in the back there. Opportunity now for Mitchell. 50 metres from home. Goes the long option. And the ball trickles over the boundary. Shields coming onto the ground. The players will be feeling the heat right now. Umpire tosses it in. Thump clear. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Patton with a chance for a third goal today. Three 
pretty happy with that one. The margin is 13. About to resume play. Winning it was Segler. Doing well was Ebert. The ball spills from the tackle. Up for grabs for Cross. Is in his possession. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Hawthorne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. Releases the handball. Shields onto the ball. Burton was taken high in the tackle. Looks up with the kick. Taking a nice grab. Hawthorne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Gunston picks up the loose ball. Great tackle. Ebert creates a contest. Big tackle. Looks to move it by foot. Westock gets on the end of this. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Chose to kick it. Takes a strong mark. The kick from Hartley. Mitchell grabs that one. Just kicks it long. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Works it across the ground. Collected the ball well. A lot of possessions for him. Alex to kick. Port Adelaide trailing by 13. Hawthorne believe they can win this game. It's time to show. Ebert on top of the ranking points. He's on fire at the moment. Let's see what this last quarter throws up. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. Back in the middle to resume play now. Big thump from McAvoy. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Has to do better in that mark contest. Works it across the ground. A chance to reload the attack now. Moves it by foot. Ball collected. He's got the footy in his hands. Mitchell blasts it inside the 50. Nails the goal. This lead getting bigger now. He celebrates hard after that. The lead is now 19. The game is back underway. McAvoy clears the contest. Ebert manufactures a handball. He has the ball. Missed the target. Frost comes away with the ball. Linking by hand. And now they create a turnover. Oh, he just hits the post. Port Adelaide close the gap to 18. Keeps it alive under some pressure. Pal Pepper puts it on the boot. Marks in a bit of space. Port Adelaide would love to make the most of this opportunity. 30 metres from home. Rosie launches towards goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. Port Adelaide now only trailed by 12. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Hawthorne could have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. He likes his chances from here. Puts it right through the middle. Puts his second on the board. Gunston celebrating hard. 18 points the difference. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Burgoyne grabbed it clean. Racking up possessions now. 
Gunston had it, lost it. Intercepted. He's getting a lot of the ball, Gaz. He's everywhere at the moment. Couldn't snaffle it. Well taken at ground level. Frost there to mop up. With the ball now. That tackle just too high. Decides to kick. The ball finds its way out of play. Rosie running off for a break. Looks like we'll have a throw in. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Port Adelaide, the margin, back within three goals. Plays on from the kick in. Goes with the kick. Burgoyne gets a quick kick away. Frawley gets the loose ball. He goes it alone. He bangs it through. Burgoyne celebrates with the fans. Port Adelaide behind by 11. That's a really good team game. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Hawthorne have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. McAvoy thumped it clear. Does well to get it out. Ends up with Wingard. Mops up the loose ball. Scully couldn't hang on to the ball. Kicks out of the congestion. Williams has well to mark. About to take the kick. Slide angle. He goes for broke. Oh, what about that? That was really special. He's enjoying that goal. The power could kick back-to-back -back goals. Oh, there's nothing in this now. Punches it clear. Clurry with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Outstanding pressure. Warfel gets on the end of that handball. 35 metres out. The goal's right in front of O'Brien. If they just maintain possession and hold on to the ball for a moment, they should be able to hold on here. Congratulated by his teammates. Hawthorne with the edge right now over Port Adelaide. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Hawthorne keep turning the ball over from their forward thrust. If they can hit more teammates, they can increase the lead. Clurie moves it by hand, and now they're away. Good grab there from Williams. 30 metres from home. He takes aim. Brilliant stuff. And he puts it through. Puts through his third goal. Williams loved kicking that one. What a tight game we have here. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. He did really well there and gets the reward. When you're able to convert in front of goal like the Hawks Cav, it's difficult to see you behind on too many occasions. A great defensive effort. Is in his possession. Rosie, a bit too casual with the tackle. O'Meara just threw it. Pau Peffer channels a long kick. He wins the ball in the air. 45 metres out. Williams with a pretty easy kick. They could take the lead here. He blasts it through for another. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Port Adelaide have kicked the last two goals. Port Adelaide get back. And grab the lead. Gunston struggling to run at the moment. Lots of pressure out there at the minute. Segler thumps it forward. Shields suckers it forward. 
dug it out. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Gathers it now. Finding the ball with ease. Ball up on the outer side wing. Segler won the hit out. Soccer's a kick. Uses it both foot. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around. Patton. Hawthorne. Go back in the lead again. Clears the contest. Gets the loose ball. Hacking it out of there. Wingard with the mark. 35 metres out. This shot should be elementary from here. Going for goal number one. Collecting high fives now after that goal. He's enjoying every second of it out there. Wingard couldn't be happier with that goal. Now they lead by 11. About to resume hostilities. Segler just swats it away. Kicks hurriedly. Finding the loose ball with Shields. Impey drops the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, huh? Slams it on the boot. A race for the loose ball. Dug out by Burton. Rosie links up with a chance to run. Just releases the ball. Moves the ball by foot. Port Adelaide will look back at today as a performance they want to learn and move forward from. What were your thoughts on the match, Gas? Hawthorne just had a more disciplined performance. They worked harder and they get to reap the rewards of that effort. Well, much appreciated, Gas. Final scores are 88 to 77. Thanks for joining us, Gaz, but that's all we have time for. It's been a pleasure, Hutto, and we'll catch you next time.